Hi everybody. Hi, this is Rina Venkatesh from Seasonal Leaf Designs. Today is day three of my live Facebook Live video challenge. And I am here at Town Center Park taking a walk. Uh, there you see the park behind me. There'll be some, probably some people walking in the screen at the, the background. So here I am. It's a rainy day again in Vancouver and about two to three degrees temperature man it's cold but now i'm warmed up a little bit i've been walking for the last half hour and as i'm walking in the park today i would like to share you can see the rain falling on my face i would like to share um, how i transformed a coat closet for my client into a study center so this is what you do and I have some notes over here so that I don't forget the actual steps. And there is the park manager, probably. Yes, city of Coquitlam, uh, driving by. So uh, what do you do to convert a coat closet into a study center? Well, first of all, you remove all the jackets and you inspect inside. And there is also the coat hanging rod you remove that and then you look inside to see if there is any uh, bulkheads, any kind of protrusions coming from the wall. And there are some players over there just looking at me. Anyways, I'll go on. And then you remove the doors and look at the side seams of the drywall. Uh, your objective over here would be widening um, the opening taking out the drywall and both on the sides and on the top so you do that then you check for some structural protrusions if there are any that will come in the way of uh, the cabinetry or the storage that you're going to put inside um, and then number four you measure the height and the width of the opening finally so that will give your study space uh, your storage space and everything else uh, now you plan your study table and your study area. So think about your desk space. What kind of material are you going to use? Would it be wood or stone? Uh, if you are having the, your study area in a kitchen, adjoining a kitchen, that probably would be good to match the desk surface with the kitchen uh, counters. Then you decide the width and the height. So it should be comfortable. So um, I would say normal study table height is about two feet six inches then you plan for your knee space uh, enough so that you can when you draw your chair in uh, you can have um, some knee space to sit comfortably uh, then you look at your under table storage whether you want a drawers or you want open space to put your computer in and there are some people some players behind me who's walking um, some coaches then you decide about your upper storage uh, you want cubbies you want doors you want to put in some baskets or you want to put in some books your filing whatever that is um, some file boxes maybe can go and depending upon the height of your basket or your file box you decide how many shelves and how many partitions there will be then you look at your lighting options um, need some under counter light maybe or under cabinet light so below the upper portion you need some lighting it could be recessed small uh, LED uh, recessed lights which you get in many lighting stores they're about um, two inches height so you can comfortably position it in a extra piece of um, uh, shelf partition or you can go, even go with some cove lighting which is like an LED uh, string lighting which you can put behind a little bit of a, a alcove that all goes underneath your upper storage then you decide on your um, whether another option could be uh, a table lamp and that is easy so you have to have an outlet where you can plug your table lamp in and usually it is um, planned either on the side wall or the back wall or even underneath the desk on the wall back back wall so those are some of the things that you need to look at and um, 
last but not the least, I know when you're studying, you like to take some notes maybe, there may be some um, notices that come in the mail and then when you want to put that up in your study area. So you can uh, use the back wall just above your desk um, to pin in uh, some, uh, some of these notices. So the way you do that is uh, decide maybe on a cork board or uh, you know, you can make it, uh, use a handyman, or if you're a handyman yourself, if you don't have two left hands, then you can uh, make your own uh, notice board. So, got to have some um, a hard surface, maybe a plywood, some soft batting on the top, and then if you go to the fabric store, buy some thick fabric. Um, you can choose the color depending upon uh, your, the chair, the color of your chair or fabric of your chair that you're using. You don't have to match it up, but you can do some coordinating patterns, pinstripes, whatever suits your style. And use that fabric to kind of wrap that up and you can um, install it on the back wall. That gives a nice uh, a pin cushion. So there you go. Um, a very easy way to uh, convert your closet space into your study. So I did this for one of my recent clients and um, what, what she was facing is that she had this closet in the study area, not in the study area, in the, between the family and the kitchen. And that was kind of an odd place for hanging your coats and everything. So she wanted to use that space. There was no study area in the kitchen. It was an old house. So we went in and then we planned took out all the coats and then that's how we did it and they are having such a fantastic study area close to the family room close to the kitchen you can quickly pop in with your laptop sit there do some work get up you put something on your um, cooktop you're, you're still cooking and you can still work so kind of versatile area to put your uh, study area if you have a closet an odd position like that so anyways uh, that's kind of most of it today for tips uh, one quick thing that I wanted to share with you is that uh, February 21st I am starting my workspace design ninja classes and these classes will run from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, classes are in New West um, with one of my friends space she has a space there and I designed the space so why not hold the classes there uh, this is your uh, class where you design your own space own office space and you learn in class, learn out of class, you do it yourself, you declutter, design, shop and style and I'm going to show you how to do it um, and also for that more information is coming up but uh, we'll be doing a webinar on February 7th, information about that is also coming up so stay tuned and today from rainy Vancouver here in Coquitlam Town Centre Park, ciao!